Hey guys, my name is Andres Borales and I recently purchased a Canon image class MF743 CDW printer and I had a really hard time setting up the scan to email feature. So this email is kind of share some information as far as how to um, scan to email, uh, especially if you have a Google business account because it's, uh, it's a little, a uh, couple more hoops that you have to jump up than usual. So the first step that you have to take in order to scan to email is you have to go into the uh, printer itself and find out what is your IP address. And the way you do this is you're gonna log into menu and uh, you're going to go into preferences. Uh, then you're gonna click on network. On here, uh, I have a security system on here so I would have to input my code. Um, if you don't, it takes you right through. So let me input my code real quick. Uh, once you log into the the system, the network settings, uh, you're going to go into TCIP settings. Click on that. And then you're going to go into the IP for V settings. Uh, once you're on there, uh, you're going to go into IP address settings and you're going to check the, the status check settings uh, on there. So I'm going to click on this right here. So once you click on that, uh, it's going to give you your IP address information on here. So it's going to have an IP address, it's going to have an IP address number here. Uh, you're going to take that number and you're going to go to your browser that's connected to the network and you're going to input that information there. Input the IP address and the address bar. Um, I use Google Chrome, but you can use whatever um, Edge or uh, whatever other browser. Um, once you come into this page, it's going to ask you for system manager mode or general user mode. I've already set up the system manager mode, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the, uh, the PIN number on here. Once you log in, uh, it's going to send you to this uh, the image class um, settings page. You're going to go and click on the um, settings. It's, this, it's the settings and registration button right here at the right. Uh, once you click on that, on here you're going to do two different steps. First, you're going to change the port settings uh, on there, and you're also going to update the TX settings on this information. Uh, so the network settings, uh, for the port settings, you're going to go to network settings, which is on the drop uh, down bar or the toolbar on the left hand side. Uh, once you click on that, you're going to go on this list right here, you're going to find port number settings. Uh, once you click on port number settings, you're going to go ahead and edit uh, the port number settings and you're going to change the SMTP to 587 because this is the uh, Google SMTP port number. Uh, you're going to click OK. It's going to save that information. Uh, then you're going to go down to TX settings. Um, click on email and IFAX settings. And on here, we're going to go ahead and change and update the information uh, for the email address that you're going to be using to scan to email. Um, on here, the only uh, um, things that you're going to be changing would be the SMTP address, which is smtp at gmail.com. And then you could input your email address. That's my email address. You can go ahead and email me if you want. Um, the, um, also, you're going to go down um, at the bottom here, authentication and encryption. You're going to use, you're going to check use SMTP. Let me, where are you? Okay, there we go. Use SMTP authentication, SMTP. You're going to put your username and then you're going to click on set, change password, and you're going to input your uh, Google uh, login password. Uh, once you click that, uh, you're going to save it and then you're going to click on use TLS for SMTP settings. Once you're done here, you're going to click OK and uh, the settings will be saved. Then you're going to go into your Google admin browser or your Google admin account uh, because this is the, the first step that took me a really, 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 really long time to figure out how to call customer support for Canon and customer support for Google. So once you're in this page right here, if you have a business account, uh, you're going to click on the security settings. Okay, once it takes you into the security settings, 
uh, we're gonna wait until upload. Uh, you're gonna go into the less secure apps tab. You click on that and you're gonna allow access to manager, to manager access to less secure apps. So you're gonna click on that, click save. Once you click this information and you save this information, you're gonna go up here into your uh, little icon uh, and you're gonna click on manage your Google account. Once you come into this page and manage your Google account, you're gonna go into security. Let me go back. There's a little toolbar on the left-hand side. You're gonna go from home down to security. Then you're gonna go scroll down and there's a spot here that says less secure app access and on there you're gonna turn that on. Um, turn off is recommended, uh, but if you have, depending on what your security on, on these uh, systems and machines uh, that you have on, um, and if you want scan to email, you're gonna to have to set that uh, less secure app access on. Um, and that's it, once you have that, it works like a charm, it's magical. You get your scanning right into your email account and um, it works great. I love it. I've been using it for a couple of days. It took me a lot of headache, almost two to three hours to figure this thing out. Um, on one day, on the final day when I figured it out, but before that it took me almost a week that I wasn't able to, to print the scan. I hope this helps you. And if you have any questions, leave your comments below. Thank you. Have a great day.